Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest Monsters of the Dark Prince. Last time, well, we just started and we were catching monsters. This time we're doing a bit of training before, well, wrapping up. We need to do quite a bit before I'm satisfied. So let's roll! Honestly, I'm kind of excited for this for this episode. Fence down, which is going to be very useful. Nice. Because we need as much XP as we can. And hopefully the rain will eventually stop. Oh, nope. Run to Komodos. Nice. That's another thing I wanted to show, is that the AI is actually kind of smart enough to know when it can get two KOs. Sadly, Dragon Forts are where we get, we're going to get the most experience. Find more. Technically, Bantam weights have the most. Sorry. I'm been I haven't been feeling 100%. So there we go. Vegan Dragora. Uh, yeah, we do want to defend a bit. Also, I wish we could speed up time, but we can't. This is the only spell list we get. And it's mainly because if we cross over to there, we can get some... I'm quite sure we can get some good stuff. Ugh. Get some good stuff. I heavily apologize because I am, once, like I said, not feeling too great. Not sick, but hey. At this point, we're getting to the speed where we're quickly just KOing over and over. Besides, I think Autumn, a new monster appears up here. Either that or I'm thinking of a different area. Why are you using slime squisher? Okay. Oh, 
we're not going to be earning much experience now because we're not reaching up the higher echelons of levels. Talent points for slime. And we're still a long way from earning anything. Sadly, because we don't have access to the best monster, and I don't even know if they're in the game to get. Grad, they probably are somewhere, because, I mean, come on, the Metal Slime is literally a uh, trope. Levels up. We're almost at all. Oh. Grad, this will also be a good indication of how long it takes. Oh, nice. That's one thing I kind of hope, is that when the full game comes out, so by the time these videos actually do come out to you guys, I hope that devs 
put in some sort of skill or something for players to change the season. Learn levels. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, we don't have undead undoer. Nice, I got a good, another good healer. Oh, another rain. Well, at least these guys are back. God. It's not autumn yet. <laughs> oh, this is a good... I'm surprised you didn't use Sizz. Never heal. It's almost at autumn and then it needs just needed to turn to autumn. Get to level eight. Okay, now autumn's in. Oh, it's just more of you guys. That's fine. Granted, yeah, it just needs more of you guys. All right, so it's gonna be more of grinding. I'm going to do one more check. Yeah, no. Ah, uh, because of how long it's going to take, I will see you guys when I'm done grinding. Or when winter comes, whatever comes first. See you guys then. Again, 
and don't worry and this video is not over and I'm back from a quite a bit of a grind speed as you can see we're up to level 8 could have gone a bit forever but well it was a bit exhausting and now we see the water turned to ice and sanguini I'm fond of this for these guys. Oh, I actually had. Yeah, I had all battle, battle on. I did not mean to do that. Good for you. Good for you. And they're gone. So I'm gonna have to find a monster to fight. Yeah, we'll fight you. Good. Because we're gonna need... We're gonna try and... We're not gonna need them, but we're gonna capture one. Some... Dini Sanguini. And let's get out one of them. Yeah, we're really powerful. Maybe too powerful. Because this guy has... No, monster menu. Dark Artist. This is going to be useful there. Not right now. I want to keep a monster with Dark artists for a lot longer than most people would. Now, where is... Where is it? I'm quite sure there was a chest and a few items. Okay, so it's down there, is it? Maybe? It's been a while since I've been over here. Oh! I don't know. I did not want to fall down. There we go. Well, we were going to go all battle on, then we'll turn it off again, because we're going to need... No, I did not want to go into telepoints. Three seas of life. Now, we're not going to use them yet, so don't worry. First, save, so we don't lose these. Uh, spells and abilities. Oh, it's not... Oh, it's map, isn't it? That, there we go. Zoom! Let's just return and actually get to the main thing we'll be gearing up for. By the way. Yeah. And we do want to pop by the shop.
And we've got a lot of monsters sent to the depot. So Good to see you. Yeah. Our father is the Lord is the master of monster kind. For those who don't know, that was Sorrow's title. Well, one of his titles in Dragon Quest IV. Lover was the Manslayer. We haven't earned that. So. But him being in control, not good. Yes. We want to get revenge. We can't harm, harm monsters. What you need, lad, is to enter your first monster mega brawl. Way off to the west of here, there's a big town called Endor. That's where monster wranglers go to test their metal in the heat of battle. I reckon if you were to make a name for yourself there, your dad might just sit up and take notice. Now, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. The path I'm proposing is a perilous one. Are you ready for this? He is not joking. These are really tough. I'll go over the ins and outs of it when we start our first lad. one. Now, without further ado, let me make the necessary arrangements. Ta-da! This here's a handy teleportal. It'll take you to Endor in a jiffy. Set your sights on winning the Category G contest, for starters. I know you'll do us proud, lad. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. But before, we want to actually change tactics. Support your want both support these your guys to be support and these two to be show no mercy. Here, I think this just lets us. Yeah, it lets us up here. There's not much to do up here, so we won't be here pretty much at all. I think there's like one thing to do right now, which is smash these. And it's random what we get, so I mean, might as well smash them because they can sometimes give us very rare things like seeds. But again, we won't be using them. Speaking of seeds, we've got the seed of strength. Now that that might come in handy. Hopefully, not too much. And of course, of course, now it comes. Uh, I will be right back. Something suddenly popped up, popped up, and needs me to take it in. Back again. Sorry about that. God, I was not expecting it to take that long. I can do that myself. <laughs> do you want to have a go? Want to enter G rank? Let's and this... do this. 
And how it works, which... Actually, I'll wait until the cutscene. A new challenger approaches the world of the monster Mega Brawl. Let's welcome all the way from Rose Hill, the handsome stranger. Facing him is another newcomer, a would-be warrior known for his all-round pleasant demeanor. It's Clancy! Now it's time for the first bout. Let's draw! Oh, I miss this. So, you may notice, we cannot command. Our monsters have to do what they think is right. We have a limit of 20 turns to beat these guys. Our MP and HP do not recover. Unless we have skills that allow us to recover. This means, if you have not trained up your monsters well enough, with perfect skills, they're going to get wiped. Our two healers didn't get stunned, that's kind of impressive. The first rank's not that bad. It's the second rank I'm worried about. The handsome stranger takes the first match. Do we have a new rising star on our hands? The crowd sure seems to think so. But who will he face in the second round? It's the category G heavyweight ready to put you in a spin. Uncle Trevor. Yeah, I wouldn't call those heavy. No time to waste. The second bout is about to begin. Let's brawl! I wish it was. Let's get it on! From Dream Quest 8. The sooner we can take out monsters, the easier it becomes. Oh, everyone got confused? Ah, oh, this is not good. We're relying on 100% luck. Which is not good. Well, at least most of the team snapped out. This is not good because we need some healers. Ugh. Oh. The handsome stranger does it again, storming through the second round. Who could have seen this coming? Judging by our winner, looks really can kill. But now it's time for the final round. And look who we have here. He'll pulverize you between his mighty wheels of steel, DJ Meat Grinder. I wish these guys would comment, but hey. As we approach the grand finale, let's find out who will maul and who will ball. Let the third bout begin. Let's brawl! Oh, I'm happy to hear this music. I miss this. Oh, it does heal you. Okay, because I'm getting used to the old Dragon Quest monster games where they don't. Why aren't you just using Sizz? Anyways, the first 
Rank is not that bad. It's the layer ranks. Sensational! From out of nowhere, the winner of Category G is... The Ever Enigmatic Handsome Stranger! Give him a big hand, ladies and gentlemen! Um. Now we're going to take a quick break from the Monster Mega Brawl for something ever so slightly special. This is going to be painful to watch again. Ladies and gentlemen, if I can have your attention, you will see a bona fide elf freshly cooked this morning. Yeah! Now here's a funny thing. When this here elf cries, genuine rubies fall from her eyes. How delightful! Go on, make her cry! I reckon you can make a pretty packet flogging them rubies. God, just imagine it! Roll up, roll up! Which lucky punter will be first to snap up one of these highly prized rubies? I'll take one, good sir! Sold to that fine fella! Now! If you please. Hey! Cry, you scurvy little elf. If I don't see you blubbing, you'll be walking the plank. Would you look at that? Ruby tears as I live and breathe. What the? It shattered at the slightest touch. Now just what are you trying to pull? Uh, calm down, sir. I, I can assure you this is all completely above board. Uh, just uh, give me a second. Oi! Oh, Elf! She's only gone and done a runner. Just wait till I get hold of ye. Disgusting. Disgusting. Timbers. That scallywag of an elf certainly be quick on her feet. Ho ho ho! I see. Ye be hiding there, you no good scurvy dog. Now, just ye come quietly like a good little elf. Or. Floy? Is somebody there? Gotta save me! Oh, help me! Deserved.
Yep. Oh no! How awful! How could you let him suffer like that? Humans are the goddess's creatures, just like us. My name? We creatures of the forest have no need for names. Listen to this, Your Highness. Hmm? Who's at the door, I wonder? Who is, I wonder? Salutations! I'm Devlin. Nice to meet you. Uh, and I'm... Well, I'm Rose. Rose, you say? So you must be the elf my master rescued then. I am. You have my deepest gratitude for saving me. By way of thanks, I've brought you some tasty nuts. Problem. What? Go away. Don't be like that, Your Highness. The more the merrier. We'll have a great slime together, I know it. Oh, please. I'll do all I can to support you, I swear. I know you won't regret it. When those humans snatched me, I thought my life was over. But you saved me, and now I want to repay you! Calm down. Oh, oh dear. Oh my. I got rather overexcited, didn't I? Oh, how embarrassing. What? You're saying no? Do you know how hard it was to find this place? All we had was the name to go on. And all the while, we had to stay out of sight of any humans. We risked our lives! I heard from the villagers that you're looking for a way to lift your curse. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Well, there's no one better than an elf to break a curse. I can help you find the cure. I know I can. Did you hear that, Your Highness? Rose says she can find a way to break your curse. <sighs> can't exactly that's say right. no. And that's why you have to let me stay. Please say you will. 
there is no reason to say no now. You can't journey me where humans are. Well, dangerous humans. Oh, that's such a relief. I promise you won't regret this. You'll see. few days later, <laughs> I still laugh at this. Rose, what is it? <sighs> Humans, they almost saw me. What? Humans? This close to the village? That was a narrow escape. Let's hurry back and tell the prince. <sighs> yeah, this whole tower got built in three days. <laughs> Absurd. All this just for me. Appreciate it. This room will be important. Might as well just drop to the bottom. We gain a chest with a hundred gold, which is not really useful. This is not useful yet. Let's see what oh, my items are. Ah, uh, we'll get some more smoke sirloin. We'll need it for later. to Endor? Because we do have another tournament. Let's run. Huh. Do you want to have a F rank. This is where it gets tough. We may need to do some grinding. Hopefully not. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Entering the Category F Tournament is the Novice Supernova. All the way from Rose Hill, it's the sensationally skilled Silent Stunner. We have upgraded. I don't like having a team like this. And facing him, classy like a ballerina, but downright nasty in the arena. It's Lady Aurelia! Let's roll. Now, on with the opening bout. Let's roll. Bum, bum. There we go. Now we've got a scissor. Oh dear. Okay, good. Not so good. The silent stunner struts through the first round. This novice is no joke. He's making a real splash. But who's he facing in round two? None other than Lady Long, draconic beast from the distant east. Watch out, she'll strike like lightning. And this is the team that's going to cause problems. No time to waste. You're going to get you're going to get wiped by this team for the next if you're not careful. And they got into Excel. Great. Yeah, we want to get rid of the hellbound horror. So oh. focus on healing. All oh, right, it's got focus on healing. I forgot support allies and focus on healing is different. Uh. Wondering why there wasn't any healing. Round two goes to the silent stunner. Now that really was a ferociously fiery fight. But here's our man, cool as a cucumber. He doesn't look even remotely phased. Now for his last opponent, it's the trash talking terror, the bequiffed basher, gorgeous Gordon! And he's got only three monsters, so it should be easy, right? It's time to head to our dramatic conclusion. Oh, we're just saying Let the same the things. But no, that Flyphon. I think it's a Flyphon. Yeah, it's a Flyphon. Yeah. They are more powerful. And because of that, we're going to get smoked if we don't take out his allies. And yes, I do mean his allies. Because... Well, the fly fun itself is powerful. Actually, 
take it out rather well if we can take out its allies. Oh, we're not even eliminating like monsters. Good. Oh, I hate fire breath. Water. Why are you just attacking? That's that's kind of why I'm fine with the Flyven being alive. Because it will just continue. Why aren't you just using Sizz? There you go. Now you're using Sizz when there's only one monster. Something else. Here's your prize for winning category F. It wouldn't surprise me if you won category S one day. I'm expecting big things from you, young man. Meow, do you do? Have I set the cat among the pigeons? <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm perfectly friendly. My name is Fergie, Talon Spotter Extraordinaire for the Monster Mauling Association. Tell me, are you really fulfilled by this trifle of attorney? You could be squaring up to far mightier monsters at the Morlaceum in Nadiria. Seriously, I'm not kidding. So, fancy going and finding out for yourself? Sure. Music to my ears. Now, if you're heading to Nadiria, you'll need this. That, my friend, is Travelite. A hallowed hunk of stone created by elves in the dim and distant past. Use it right, and you'll be able to travel to Nadiria at a stroke. Now, I don't mean to let the cat out of the bag. But I understand there's an elf in your village. She'd be the perfect candidate to teach you how to use Travelite, so I suggest having a word. Mew hoo hoo! Well, I guess I'll catch you in Nadiria. <sighs> now people know, and that's gonna be a problem for us. I'm sure. Well, let's return back to Rose Hill.
waiting for more loading. Get on with it, because honestly, I am about to perform a traditional elvish dance. I hope you'll enjoy it. It's been some time, though. I only hope I remember the steps. Now we've got the teleportal. Wow! Take a look outside. There were always legends back home that Travelite could open the way to Nadiria. To think they were true. My prince, um, did I, did that help? I think so, yes. Oh, <laughs> that's a relief. By the way, Travelite comes in other varieties. With the right kind, we could visit all sorts of places in Nadiria. Back in Rose Hill, I didn't venture outside my room just as you asked. So I was thinking... Seeing as we're in Nadiria now, where I'm safe from humans, maybe I could join you on your adventures here. Because there's no humans here. I actually have to agree. Yeah, come with us, Rose. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> I'm so pleased! Thank you ever so much! To go back to Terrestria, you can do so via the magic circle. But first, let's explore Nadiria. Yes, let's. And we'll do a bit of it now. I'll do maybe one attempt at the tournament.
Circle of Conquest, Lorashal. Gosh, so this is Nadiria. It sends a chill down my spine. Apologies, Madam Muzel. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Fergie, official talent spotter for the Monster Mauling Association. Fergie, you say? Did you provide us with that travel light by any chance? Indeed. I'm happy to see you made good use of it. This is the Circle of Conquest, one of the six realms of Nadiria. Each realm is divided into three parts, which we call the Lower, Middle, and Upper Echelons. Right now, we're in the Lower Echelon. It's home to weak monsters, but that's fine for a fledgling monster wrangler such as yourself. So, that would make this the Lower Echelon of the Circle of Conquest. Is that right? Precisely! And at the heart of it all is the Mauler Seal, Nadiria's one and only battle arena. That's where monster rangers from far and wide gather to test their skills in battle. And you should too. We will do that. Didn't you say you wanted to enter a tournament at the Mauler Seal? We should go and take a look. Rose! I know. I'm the one that wanted to do it. Thankfully, Rose will probably get better. I hope. Okay. Uh... Try scouting. Yeah. Yep. Notice how just bad that is. And how quickly they anger. This is the gimmick of Nadiria. Unless we can beat the rank that these monsters are connected to, we do not get an easy scout. We can scout them! Uh, you says. It does mean that we wasted the meat. And we get a lot of experience. Oh! Yep. Never say no to this. Unless you somehow fill the paddock. In which case... Uh, probably still... Still say yes. Sadly, uh, not too useful. Sirloin. Let's just see if we can scout them. Oh, they're ir just irritated. Uh, you know what? Let's see if you can.
Actually done. Sadly, not as good. Still irritated. Yeah. Oh my god, we actually scoured it. You're one of us now. Defender. I remember seeing you guys. Oh no. I'm wrong. Ignore me. I have seen these guys. Good monster scout. <laughs> Tongue twister. And we don't have any more monsters in scout, at least in this season, I don't believe. But we do want to train against some of these guys. So if we run into them, we will fight them. But otherwise we won't. Talent points. All going into Slimer. Sadly, we do not have Attack Attacker. Oh, there is Lips. Group of lips. Do this. Yeah. See if we can get it. Forty five percent. Irritated. Somehow less just You're gave me more. Now. And another tongue twister. I 100% know we're not ready for the mausoleum, but I do want to at least arrive there before. Oh, it's a fun hell. 
that monster can actually disappear quite easily. Oh. Really? Okay, now we just have to tag until the other two wake up. Because this is one of the monsters I actually want to try and get as soon as we can. Bantam weight. Come on. Yeah, now let's go. No, it's a low chance. Yes, we got it. <laughs> we won it because it has a very good skill tree in Stinker. Yeah, I know. This, this may seem weird, but this skill tree is really good. Specifically, we want Sweet Breath, but we'll be waiting a long time time for it. But we do want it. That I'm burning birth birth breath. Not for the tournament, because it's too too late. Oh right, going this way. Uh I'll be doing a bit more grinding off screen. Not recording for it. For this tournament because uh we're not ready we need a few more levels before i think we're confident enough to do it but we just want this just so we can pop back here So for this cutscene, well, I'll be seeing you guys next time. <laughs> I hope you didn't have too tough a time getting here. Virgil! So, how were the monsters? Did you have any trouble making new friends? I'm gonna say no. I've never... I would never usually, but I wanna say, what, let's see what happens. Well... You say that, but you can't hide the truth from me. The denizens of this place won't join up with any old monster wrangler. Only those with a reputation. Most echelons in Nadiria have a big hitter, and beating them will do wonders for your reputation. But things are different here. You'll need to come out on top in Category G in the Morlaceum to boost your rep. Can you stop if walking? you win, you'll be able to bag yourself a great prize. So, there's plenty to fight for. Yeah, I figured. For it sounds like winning Category G is your top priority if you want to scout the local monsters. Shall I mean, head in? I'd like to learn more about this place. There's only two monsters that we want to get here. Well, technically free, but we can't do anything with the third yet. 
Oh. Interesting. I didn't know that's where he was. Anyways, uh, next time, we will be doing Category G. See you guys then. Zinu Zima, signing out.